In this video I will be showing you guys how to convert and play PSP games on your PS Vita. This even works on PS Vitas running a 3.71 official firmware. All you need is a game off the Play Store. Now there's actually three games you can get. I got Ape Quest, but it pretty much depends on what region you're in. Okay guys, so I'm going to get Ape Quest. The one I want to find is actually the Ape Quest Starter Pack. So I'm going to press X on this. Am I actually going to download it? It's completely free. Just press X on the orange download icon. Obviously choose whichever one you need to get. It does actually say, um, so if you need Pet Settle Club, get a free version of that. And if you need the other one as well, um, Loco Roco, I believe you can get a free version of that. But there you go, we're going to download this and it should actually be downloading now. So if we exit out of it and click on this icon up here, we can actually see we've got to wait three minutes 200 megabytes you guys should have enough storage for that so we're just going to wait for this to download and i will be back when it's done okay guys so once we are on our computer the first thing we need to do is get qcma the chances are you might already have this but you want to scroll down and you want to select your operating system i'm going to get windows because i'm running windows 10 so i'm going to select the windows installer and just wait for this to download i have already downloaded it so i'm just going to cancel it but you guys want to wait for this to download next we want to get the software which is called i believe it's called like um, Shovi or something like that, Shovi project, not too sure if I'm saying that correctly, but you want to scroll down and you want to get the release a zip file. So just click on this and this is going to download as well. Now once you've got these two files downloaded, you want to go into your downloads folder and just find them. You also want to have a PSP game. I've got Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, this is actually in an ISO format. Your games must be in the ISO format for it to work. If you're not sure what format your game is in, right click, go to properties and you guys will be able to see this game is actually an ISO there you go disk image type ISO so we can just click off of that and what we want to do is start the QCMA setup so just double click on this exe and we're going to go through the entire setup click on yes and then just wait for it to unpack and then we should be able to select our language so select your language I'm just going to choose English click on OK click on next I agree click next next again and you want to make sure you install the win usb driver then just click on install and then this is just going to start installing and um, basically what qcma is um, as i said you might already have it and that's fine you can use your previous installation it lets you connect your ps vita to your pc via content manager and basically using this software using not using sony software this software is a lot better because you can install you know games and apps and stuff like that so we're just going to wait for this to extract and i will be back when it's done Okay, so next it's going to bring up this device driver wizard. You want to click next and then we're just going to install this as well. I've actually already got it. We're just going to click on finish and then we're going to click run QCMA and click on finish. If it's not running and you already have it, you want to click on the search icon and you can actually type in QCMA on this and actually find it and just click on it like that. So yeah, there's two ways of pretty much just starting this up and there you go. It's then going to refresh the database. It's going to start up and we should actually be able to connect our PS Vita to our computer. Okay guys, so once this is done installing, it's going to get onto this screen, it's going to stay installing, and it's going to install very quick, and there you go, we can actually find the game on our home screen just like that. Now the game should play and everything like that, you don't have to start it, don't worry about that. What you guys actually want to do is scroll up, and you want to go to the content manager, but before that, you just want to hold on the home button right here, and you can just turn Wi-Fi off, this just makes it a bit easier. Then just go and start up content manager, and we're just going to select copy content. Now we've got QCMA set up we can actually just connect this to our computer so while it's saying connecting plug in the usb cable and it will actually connect so just wait for it also please wait and there you go we're on the connection screen so we need to go to this setting right here which says psv the system to pc so press x on this one we're going to press x on applications and then we're going to scroll down to where it says psp slash other and press x on this we need to tick on apequest and we need to click copy this is going to copy the apequest onto our computer so just click on copy click on ok and there you go we're now copying apequest over onto our computer so we've just got to wait for this i don't think this takes very long so we're just going to wait for this and I will be on my computer when this is done. Okay guys, so once ApeQuest has finished copying, what you actually want to do is find the releases zip file, right click this, and just click extract to releases. It's then just going to put it into its own file folder. So double click on the file folder and double click on this exe. So just double click on this one right here, and it's just going to start up the application we need. Next, what we need to do is click find from CMA. So click on this, then you just need to click on browse right here. 
And then what we're gonna do is find our PSV to folder in our documents. So I'm just gonna go on, um, so like James, um, I'm just gonna find my documents right here. And then as you can see, there's actually a folder called PSV test. So we're gonna click on this and then just click on open. And there you go, it's gonna bring up our ApeQuest game. So we need to click on our ApeQuest game and we need to click on go get the riff and version key. Maybe it says get, I think. I'm not too sure, maybe they misspelled it. But click on whatever your game is, so Pet Settle Club, whatever one you chose, click on go get the riff version keys. Click on this and then it's going to sort it out and basically get the key, uh, the version key and the riff that we need. So we've just got to wait for this. I think this takes um, maybe like 60 seconds. I'm not too sure, maybe a minute. Okay, so I think it finished already. I should just say progress like this and then be done. And what we need to do is find our PSP ISO game. So we're just gonna click on browse right here and we're going to go and find it um, basically on our computer. So just click on browse and then go to your downloads or wherever you've got your game. I'm gonna select my Yu-Gi-Oh game and just click on open. And then there you go, you don't have to tick this. You can just click on freedom. And now it's going to transfer our Yu-Gi-Oh ISO game or whatever game you chose into the correct format to install onto our PlayStation Vita. So we are just going to wait for this. Um, again, I don't know how long this takes, maybe a few minutes. Um, it looks like the percentage is going up um, quite quickly. So we're just gonna wait for this. It has a pop-up at the end and it plays this really weird song and once it's done so we're just gonna wait for it and I will be back once this is finished okay so this is kind of the second part it gets onto where it says signing and um, then it actually comes up with this message and it plays this weird song I don't know why but um, once that is finished we will actually be able to close out of it so yeah we're just gonna wait a bit longer okay so here is the text box that says just as freedom click on okay and now you can open it again and just click on the X. As I said, it plays a very, very annoying song, very loud, so that's kind of stupid. But there you go, <laughs> that's just what they added, I guess. And then that is pretty much it. Our game should actually be added. So you have to click on this little logo down here, find the QCMA icon, right click this and click refresh database. Basically what this is gonna do is just refresh it and it should actually refresh the game, so it should actually appear on our PS Vita. So now we can go back onto our PS Vita once this is done refreshing and we can check it out. Out. Okay guys, so back on our PS Vita, what we should probably do is refresh everything. So click on cancel, click back, and we're actually going to close out of this, and we're just going to close it down. We're then going to go onto content manager, and we're going to open this again. Just select copy content, and we're going to try and copy across our game. So just wait for it to say connecting. If your database is still refreshing, just wait for it. And we're going to go on to PC to PS Vita, applications, and then we're going to select, um, maybe mine's still refreshing because it's taking a while. There you go, applications, and then we're just gonna choose PSP or other. And there you go, it's actually gonna find our game on here. So depending on what game you got, it's gonna find it, and it's gonna tell you the size of your game as well. I got Yu-Gi-Oh! Personally, never played this game before. I actually backed this up. If you guys would like to see a video on how I got this off my disc onto my ISO, I can make a video on that. But we're just gonna click on copy. We're going to click on OK, and it's basically going to copy it from our computer onto our PlayStation Vita. So this might take a while. Again, I never know how long these things take. So um, actually, this one's perfect. This says 11 minutes. OK, this one's going to take 11 minutes. So I'm going to wait for this. And when it's done, I will be able to show you guys some gameplay. Keep in mind, my PS Vita right now is not running any custom firmware whatsoever. So this is going to be pretty cool. But I'm going to be back once this is done. Okay guys, so once it's done, we can actually test out this game. So we're just gonna disconnect our PS Vita from our computer. You'll get this message saying the PC has been disconnected. That's fine. Tap on okay. And now just close out of this, close out of it again. Just swipe it down. And there you go, we can find our game. So you go in the PSP format, Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's start this up and let's give it a quick test. Maybe I will play some gameplay. Never actually played this game before, so it might be kind of interesting to see. But um, as you can see, the game loads. Get the icon down there. Uh, let's choose English. And yeah, this is actually really cool. Um, PSP games running on your PS Vita on 3.71. This PS Vita is on 3.65, but it has no custom firmware, which basically means this should work on every firmware version, um, even if you have custom firmware or not. I don't know about SD to Vita. Let me know in the comments, does it work if you try on SD to Vita? I took mine out anyway, because I was pretty sure it's just not gonna work. Um, but yeah, it would be kind of interesting to see, I guess. But there you go, that is it working. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.